I'm going to do a walk around of my Kimco People GT300i scooter. This is the rear wheel, it's got a disc brake. And so does the front. Got a really good headlight at night. This is my Opteca solar battery charger. Got it hooked up to my Garmin new VGPS. And this here is a RAM mount mounting system for my new V. Comes with a pretty good sized trunk. You can fit a lot of stuff in here, your groceries. Um, you can also fit three Domino's medium-sized pizza boxes. It's got a footrest on either side. There's a kickstand right here. glove box. You keep some papers. I got some wipes there for my my helmet visor. It's got a small tool kit. Now to pop the seat up you have to push in and then it turn to the left and it'll click. And that unlatches the seat. Gas tank holds about two gallons. And that'll give you about 120 miles because it's about 60 miles to the gallon. I'm getting 62 miles to the gallon right now. Um, it's got room for a toolkit. I've got all my tools in here. I don't have any kids. This is just a Hello Kitty bag I got at Goodwill for two bucks. So. When I go shopping, I secure my helmet using a word lock. Just I loop it through the, uh, the full face helmet, the, the lower portion of the helmet. On the dash, you've got this looks like an analog speedometer, but it's not. It's digital. It's digitally controlled. You've got a digital display for the fuel gauge, the odometer, and it's got the time as well and engine temperature. Got the headlights, dims, brights, turn signal, Ding. horn, starter button, kill switch. It's got really good mirrors as far as mirrors go. It's really a decent looking bike. I really like it a lot. You can get up to speeds around 85, 90 miles an hour. This one's used, I bought it used, it's a 2012 Kimco People, and uh, I haven't really gotten under the hood, so to speak. Um, you don't really need to with this scooter because it's very maintenance free. Check the oil. Last time I checked it, it was all good. Yeah, it's topped off. It's relatively maintenance free. And the reason for that is because Kimco is a Taiwanese scooter and the and Kimco rivals Honda in terms of reliability and product quality. And in fact, Kimco manufactures parts for other Japanese motorbikes. So, I paid 3200 for it. I think it's a really good deal. If you try to sink your money into a Chinese scooter, you're going to end up spending thousands in upgrades and repairs. So why not just get a Kimco with it, which is what I did. Um, I had a Chinese scooter and there's no comparison. This one is far superior to the Chinese scooters. So I highly recommend this bike.